Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see from the title and the thumbnail, we are going to try oh, this product over here. It is brand new. It is a really, like, I think they launched it like a week ago, maybe less. It is the Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. And just hearing the word magnet scares the, like, the world out of me, honestly. Because you guys already know how I feel about magnets near the eyeballs. And yes, I was super hesitant to even consider trying out the product and I knew Benefit was gonna send it my way and I was just like, what do I do? Do I try it? Do I not try it? Because you guys know, regardless of whether something was sent to me for free or not, I do not try something if I it do not really feel like I should, if I'm like concerned for my health, my well-being, or anything like that. So I decided to do some digging even before I received the product so that I can understand the formula, the wand, the packaging, its properties. And I feel like I've looked into it enough to where I'm actually pretty comfortable with it. So we're gonna go ahead and try this baby out. But before we do, I wanted to show you guys like my go-to no makeup makeup look because I got a lot of compliments on an Instagram picture where I literally had like I skipped the foundation and I just did like the basics so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that real quickly because you can do this in like two minutes like literally two minutes and then we'll try the mascara my first step is to use an illuminator on the skin like a liquid one it could be any that you would prefer there's the Elemis superfood we have the QMS, which happens to be like an illuminating uh, tinted moisturizer. But my go-to is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focused uh, Beauty Flash. And I kind of like doing a laser, so it's like it's not, you know. And I just apply a little bit of illuminator that's gonna hydrate my skin, help diffuse it, but make it look like healthy and glowy. I do this a lot and I get so many compliments on the whole, girl, you have um. That beautiful pregnancy glow, I kind of see it now, you know, even without this product, but I'm, I'm kind of afraid of what's gonna happen once that pregnancy glow is gone in a few weeks. But yeah, so that's my first step. Just, just a nice little base. It's not a foundation. It is extremely sheer, but it'll hydrate your skin while giving you a little bit of luminosity. Then I grabbed any, like I literally switch my concealers on a day-to-day -day basis. So grab any concealer and just conceal these areas. I cannot get away with not applying concealer like under my eyes because lately girl i've been like losing sleep with this whole stress of like house hunting and stuff so i'll just take a damp sponge and just blend that out and then go over my eyelids with whatever's left and as you guys can see my brows are pretty much groomed and i'm feeling like they they, they look really good because i don't really have to do much to them i did the brow lamination at home so it's a diy it's it's still good it's been over maybe it's going to be two weeks or something and it's still good so all i tend to do for my brows and sometimes i've been skipping it is just filling in the little arch area just so it doesn't seem like all bald and sparse and stuff, but I'll just take the concealer to brighten under my eye. Automatic difference from when like I started, right? I'll take a little bit of a powder, any powder. You're not gonna overdo it. You just kind of want to set it without baking. You don't want to look exaggeratedly bright under your eyes. You want it to look really natural, so you just kind of do one of those. And then whatever's left, set your lids. Notice my nose is still a little pink. That's okay, I don't even mind it. I'm not striving for perfection. I'm just trying to look a little more put together. For the brow, I'm gonna keep it a little simple like I said, and I'm just gonna fill in this kind of arch area so it doesn't look like sparse. You can feel free to fill in any other areas that you feel like you're lacking some hair just so that it'll look uniform. For those of you wondering, this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade gray. The garbage company is picking up the trash in this community and they're making a lot of noise. So I'm killing time and I'm so annoyed because they had all day to do this. And it just so happens they always come by whenever I am at filming a video. So yeah. Okay, I think they're done. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna bring you guys into a little secret most people will get it. Some people will be like, Ooh, what are you talking about? But I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. So um, since I wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis, on days that I don't wanna wear foundation and I don't wanna overdo it, I don't wanna like, like toss around all these products, um, and I'm creating this look. I will grab the bronzer brush that I've used most recently. Not like a three week old one, hello, that's a bit much. But technically you're supposed to clean your brushes weekly because if not, then you have like a buildup of products. So I will take 
the bronzer brush that I've been using for the past two to three days. I do not add any additional bronzer. And I just like whatever's left, just see, just to get that little something without overdoing it. I want it to look natural, so that's what I do. Judge me. You know what? Go in the comment section and judge me. It's fine. It's fine. I get it. I totally get it. But if you're my people, like, you know I get you. You don't have time to be like, okay, here, no, no, no. You, you need quick makeup. There's a Zoom meeting in five minutes. This is what you need. You grab whatever brush you have with like excess product in it. Cause if it's clean, it's not gonna work, obviously. That way you don't have to grab an additional product. And then you do one of these, <laughs> right? <laughs> and whatever's left on the brush, you're just applying it. And then that's it. Is it the most hygienic thing to do? No, but I know everybody goes ahead and reuses their brushes for a week, at least their face brushes. And then guess what? Blush, you guessed it, okay? I've been using this one for the past, I'm gonna say two days. So whatever's left on it, I'm doing one of these. <laughs> I know this brush does not have a lot of highlighter built up in it. I'm gonna use the Aether Beauty Highlighter. Uh, this is the Supernova Crushed Diamond Highlighter. It is there before. I've only used it like twice, but I love it. It's stunning. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit and do one of these. It looks like crushed diamonds being smeared on the skin. It's so pretty. And it does not emphasize any texture or dry patches, which I've really been enjoying. And then for the lips, honestly, I would generally just apply a little bit of a lip balm. If I wanted to dress it up, I'd do a lip liner. Since I'm filming this for you guys, I'll go ahead and use a lip liner. But, you know, again, I really skip the lip liner when it comes to these kind of like simple everyday looks solely because I would normally go out and wear a mask and no one gets to see that. So a lip balm is like the easiest fix when it comes to the lips. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. It doesn't have to be perfect because at the end of the day, you're just applying a balm over it. Now on to the Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. The packaging is nice, it's simple, it's sleek, it's very Benefit-esque. The top of the handle actually has a magnet kind of design to it, which I think is really cute, and it helps you identify what kind of mascara it is. The wand itself is nice and thick. It is very reminiscent to the Benefit Their Real Mascara. The difference with this wand is that it actually has a magnet core. So in the core of this actual mascara wand, there's a magnet in it. The actual mascara formula has magnetic minerals within the formula. So at that point, I said, oh my God, that means magnets near my eyes. I'm not using it, not gonna happen. But then one thing that stood out to me was using this will not allow your magnet lashes to adhere, which means that although it has some sort of magnetic properties, it still doesn't have the full potential of an actual magnet itself. So what's happening is the formula along with the wand is supposed to give you those va va voom amazing lengthy lashes. I wanted to see. <laughs> if this will like like attach to something like metal. Let me find something small and metal, hold on. Okay, so I grabbed a few things that may or may not like actually react to the magnet. Um, Let's see, a bobby pin, no connection. A pair of tweezers. No connection, but this I won't throw backwards. Two separate magnets, which as you can see, they're like magnets, right? Let me, oh, oh. Oh, it did. So this magnet actually works. That's actually different, but cool and scary at the same time. I actually feel like this one's pushing away versus pulling, but this, whoa, okay, they, they attached. <laughs> um, but the smaller one actually does, it's okay, that's kind of creepy. By the way, everything that I said about the magnetic minerals and all that stuff, that was actual like research, because I researched what's the difference between actual magnets and magnetic minerals, and there's definitely a difference. I am not the one to dictate and explain that because I am not very scientific. I am terrible at relaying those kinds of information to people, so I'm just gonna say do your research, but I promise you, Magnets, magnets, and then magnetic minerals, although within the same category, same family, they're still very different. So I was actually very comfortable with the idea because it doesn't mean that this is gonna pull anything and I'm not gonna feel anything and it's not weird because nothing is gonna be attaching to it and I'm not gonna have mag actual magnets anywhere near my eyes. So we're gonna dive in and try this baby. This is gonna be first impressions. We're gonna go and apply one coat. I'm only gonna do the, oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna do one coat and we're just gonna do the top. What video was it that JLo had like no lashes or at least it looked like she had no lashes, but they were like super basic and it looked so pretty. Her eyes look like angelic, like really natural because right about now that's what I'm getting on my actual lashes. This is what one very light coat looks like. You guys already see, like I didn't really go in and like overdo it, try to overbuild it. I'm showing you one simple pass. That is actually really pretty. I'm gonna do the one simple pass on the other side as well. It looks real simple, but they look cute. I will go out like this, right? And with a mask, it just covers like this whole area. I'm gonna apply a second coat and see what coat number two looks like. This here is with two coats. Also, I failed to tell you guys that the applicator, again, just like the Benefit the Real Mascara, it's actually silicone, but it's not like um, prickling you in the eyes or anything like that. So I just wanted to make sure I let you guys know so I didn't fail to like touch on that. We're gonna do the second coat on the other eye. My lashes are looking actually really good. I prefer the two coats over the one. I feel like it actually seems like I did something without having to like overwork for this type of effect. So it looks really, really pretty. But you guys know I always wanna push my limits. I kinda wanna see what a third coat would look like. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I have a series of mascaras that I actually am enjoying currently, and I think I'm gonna add the Benefits Their Real Magnet Mascara to the list. And again, this is just first impressions, but I've gotta tell you guys, the fact that I was able to apply three coats, I didn't get a messy, like, application going on. My lashes are not spidery. It actually emphasized the lashes that I already have and it made them look even better than they do naturally. Like honestly, like I, I have zero complaints thus far. I'm gonna add a little bit of this mascara on the bottom lashes just to kind of see what it looks like. I feel like it looks a lot better without it. Like simple eyes, right? But at the same time, how can I truly say what I prefer, like top, bottom, if I haven't even tried it on the bottom? Okay, no, it gives you a really nice application on the bottom lash line as well. Because this specific eye look is so simple, I preferred the way it looked without the mascara on the bottom. However, that's not a mascara issue, that's like a personal preference thing. But either way, it looks really good. Do you see the drama in my eyes? And I have no foundation, I literally have no eyeshadow, and it made it look more done up, which I like. Let me know down below if this is a mascara you would totally dive in and try it. And if you're saying no, why? I'm curious as to why you wouldn't try it. I gave you guys my explanation as to why I was freaking out, not knowing whether I should try it or not. But I want to hear you guys' thoughts. Also, here's a little sneaky peeky. I actually saw on Ipsy's website that the travel size of this mascara is going to be featured in the March rotation for the Glam bag, the $12 one. So if you receive the regular $12 Glam bag, you may actually receive one of these. I'm not sure how they're gonna be customizing it or anything like that, but it would be cool because it's a great way to try this baby out and see whether or not it's for you. Quick reminder, my giveaway is still live and it's actually a pretty big one. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you click up here and or in the description box. It's gonna take you to the video where you're gonna get the four, four on one on the prize as well as like um how to enter a lot of people were surprised and were saying like i'm too nice but some people said i was crazy for doing that but either way whatever you know i love you guys so i wanted to do a real like big giveaway so make sure you go sign up for that if you haven't already do not miss out on your opportunity that's what I'm saying. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more unboxings, more tutorials, more vlogs, more how-tos, more first impressions, reviews, and all that good stuff, because that's what the channel is about. Make sure you go check those out, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye.